All right, so when we have a sentence like this, he said, I will go home. A lot of you, when you show me your boards, you realize we need to add these things in called quotation marks. And quotation marks, you need to know that they work in pairs. There's always two of them or two sets of them. And they only go around the words that come out of the people's mouths. Okay? So I'm not going to walk in and say, he said, I will go home. No, I'm just going to walk in a room and say, I will go home. So the quotes need to go around the parts that came out of the person's mouth. I will go home. These are the words that came out of his mouth. He said, I will go home. Now, most of you guys have that part already done. But there's one thing that a lot of us forgot. A lot of us forgot that we need a comma when we have a sentence with quotations. And that comma goes in between who said it and what they said. Okay? So, he said, I will go home. The comma separates who said it, which is he, and what they said. I will go home. Okay? So now I'm going to show you what happens if we have who said it at the end of a sentence. Okay? So, we are not ready for that said Sally period okay please write that down put the quotes and commas where you think they go and then show me when you're ready Some people have it perfect. Some people are forgetting a few things. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put some quotations. Where are my quotation marks going to go? Brianna. In front of we and after that. In front of we and after that because that's what Sally said. Sally said, we are not ready for that. But there's one more thing we need to put in that some people forgot. Hmm. Martha, the, where's the comma going to go? Yes, after that, and in front of said. We don't put a period here because our whole sentence isn't over yet. We put the one period at the end. Okay? So if, we're just, if it's just a declarative sentence, and we're not shouting it, we're not asking it, and we say, we are not ready for that, we just put the comma at the end. Okay? Now, what if it's asking a question? Oh, I have another. Yeah, so what if it's asking a question? Um... Let's say, is she ready to go? Ask Sarah. Okay. Write that with the quotes and any punctuation you might need.
Okay. All right. So I see some good things, and I see some things that some of us are going to need to fix. The first one, we know where the quotes go. They go before, is, and after go, right? Is she ready to go? But do I need a comma if it says asked Sarah? What do I need right here? What do I need? I need to put my question mark right here inside the quotes because the person, the question's coming out of their mouth. Sarah's saying, is she ready to go? You can tell that she's asking the question, can't you? And then we, and then we put the period at the end. Okay? We put the period at the end. The, the question mark always goes inside the quotes. Always. Okay, next one. Um, Robert asked, is he at his desk? Okay, I didn't put any quotations in there. Some might even, I might have to do some, some correct capitalization too. So put the quotes, punctuation, capitals where they need to be. Go. Show me when you're ready. Now, see, some people, they only have one set of quotation marks. Remember, they have to work in pairs. They have to be two sets. All right. So, some of you got this right. We need to put the quotations before is and after desk. Because that's what, that's what Robert said. Robert said, is he at his desk? If I'm Robert, I'm not going to say, Robert asked, is he at his desk? No. I'm just going to say, is he at his desk? Right. Yes. Do we have to capitalize? We're going to get to that point. And yes, we do. Because inside of quotation, the first word inside of quotation has to be capital or capitalized. Okay? Because that's the first part of the sentence that he said. So inside these quotation marks, you have to make sure that first letter is a capital. Okay? There's maybe two more things we have to do. Hmm. Brianna. Where? Yeah, I have to put um before the quotations and after desk. And there's one more thing I have to do as well. Ryan? Um Put a comma before the commas and after the ask. You mean before the quotation marks? Yeah. Yes. Right after ask, we need to put a comma. Because remember, we have to have a comma separating who said it and what they said. Okay? All right. 